I'm going to be ranked into Amkodama Kawashiri episode one. I'll be watching it off of Crunchyroll's website, and I'll be starting off my reaction in one, zero, go. All right, I'm definitely interested in this. I think the key visual looks good. Oh, I like the theme song. Sounds pretty pleasant to the ears. I kind of hope they have a full version of it because it sounds nice, actually. Yo, her face. She looks like she doesn't get a lot of sleep. I feel bad for her already. Does this is a life of dangerous life hacker. Quite the title there, actually, for an anime. I <laughs> like how her productivity is fucking shit. And I was like, whenever you do work near your bed, you kind of just feel like resting. Actually, so that's kind of relatable. Kind of feels like an opening, though. This is a damn long opening, considering that the episode is like two minutes and 30 seconds in length. Kid opening, though. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, I am surprised that she still has a decent thing. Oh, no, she definitely has a big gut when it comes to her stomach. Okay. Damn, that was a long ass open. What the fuck? I thought the series was going to be animated like the opening. I definitely got the whole Grace thing from the opening. Really, what happened to the budget? Like, the opening looks beautiful and the series looks eh. I gotta admit, it's kind of adorable showing how she was throughout the ages, though. I like how this anime makes... I think her test is starting because of all the unhealthy food she's eating, though. I, I would just say. I don't think it's because of the difficult thought she has of her future. But seriously, what, what happened? Why is the opening longer than the actual episode? And why is it better animated than the actual episode? Like, what the fuck? That this series literally spent all of its budget on the opening because honestly, <laughs> what the fuck is all I got to say? Because it's like, holy shit. This series makes you think it's going to be full of vibrant energy with a lazy character. And yeah, you have a lazy character, but the anime doesn't have any vibrant energy because guess the animators just used all the energy in the fucking opening. Because here's my issue with the episode. Not only is the fucking opening longer than the episode, which the opening was damn good. I was legitimately thinking that the series is going to look like the opening. I was like, yes, it's like fucking good. No. Instead, it's one of the most poorly produced animations because looking at the bits after the opening, there isn't even any animation. Hell, it doesn't even look like there's any second key frames the way she just walks Kodama. It looks damn fucking awful. And then a lot of this information she says, like she likes greasy food and she releases manga. We got on that from the opening because in the opening she eats a lot. She drinks a lot. The opening shows all that that the episode shows off afterwards. And when she says she goes to sleep, and then that bit of dialogue in the episode when she says... And I shit you not. And going to sleep immediately after is the best. The opening does that when it has, when it shows off her bed, when it says productivity after work, she goes in her bed. So essentially almost everything that this episode has in dialogue, it's already mentioned in the fucking opening. So yeah, as far as short animes go, 
The opening was amazingly produced. The opening is some damn spectacular quality. Hell, if this series looked like the freaking opening, I'd be hyped and be like, oh shit, this is some hype shit. Nope, that ain't the fucking case. This series doesn't even look 5-1% as good as the opening. And don't give this series excuses saying, oh, anime game, and it's just a short anime. Bullshit. I've seen shorter animes better produced than this shit. Poi Poi Morkar exists. You know what else existed? Gambare Doki Chan. That was a short series. Even though the running for that series was not good, it was better anime than this. Extra Olympia Kilios existed. That little anime shorts with those Egyptian gods. That anime existed, and that was also a short series, too, and that got a season, too, because of how badass it was. This series, it just reeks of laziness, unfortunately, from a visual standpoint, an art standpoint. Like, everything in the opening was well-produced, not the episode itself, because, and here's my issue with it from a plot standpoint. The jokes didn't work because they used the gags in the opening, like her being... Being enthralled by greasy stuff, we got that by the opening. Her being a lazy ass, we got that by the opening. Her sleeping around a lot, oh yeah, we got that by the opening. Pretty much anything that we need about the main protag, we learned about her through the opening. That's my issue with the episode. So a lot of the information in the first episode's redundant. And honestly, from a character standpoint... It only gives our girl the base characterization, and that's it. Doesn't really do much with her. whoop de fucking do She enjoys greasy shit. The thing is, though, I would have loved to have seen more with it, but nah. <sighs> My goodness. This seven feels like a short series that would probably have benefited if the writers or producers would have gone for maybe making this series, those short series that are three minutes long, any, well, I'd say four minutes long, including a minute and a half opening. Because honestly, with like just a minute per week, it's not going to have enough time to even properly pace itself at all. Which is pretty bad because we're living in an era where we have a lot of good short anime over the last few seasons. Pui Pui Molkar exists. With a dog and a cat, every day is fun exists. I Suishima existed. That short series is actually pretty fucking good. I don't know if y'all ever heard of that series, but that series was was fantastically written with sad emotional moments that had topics of death, sadness, loss. And each episode in that series was like pretty much a fucking minute per week. So this series has no fucking excuses for having such a poor narrative because I Suishima exists. That series right there, its existence proves that you can have a short series and you can have it be damn good with some damn good writing. That oh, and there's and you know what also existed too? Deji Meat Scroll also existed. And that was also another short series that actually had a plot with continuity and characters and good animation. So, no, I am not going to give this series any fucking excuses because over the last few seasons, we had good short animes. And that's why, if I had to rate this episode, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. It ain't the most abysmal-looking anime I've seen this season. That honor belongs to Rusted Armor. That series is far and away the worst-looking anime this season, but this is definitely the second worst. It earns that honor. Will I react to the other episodes? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll see if it improves. I'll probably give it... Fuck, I'll probably give its whole season a watch. Why the fuck not? I mean, why the hell not? But honestly, though, if this series doesn't improve, 